morning, South Line East. I'm Evan. And I'm Tyler. This is your news. Seniors who haven't taken their head, senior headshots will be doing so on Friday, so please see Ms. Krieger for more information. Seniors will also be retaking the senior panoramic photo at 10 a.m. Friday, which will be on the football field depending on the weather. We were able to catch up with the boys' tennis team to talk about season highlights, so let's take a look at that. It has been a few weeks since the 2021 boys' tennis team season has ended for South Line East. Here's a look back on some of the highlights from the season. What was the funnest moment of your season? Being South Line High School, they're a cross-town rival, and let's be, let's be honest, we destroyed them. What victory felt the best for your team? Beating Lakeland, because Lakeland's a really good school for tennis, and handing them an L felt really good. Who was the hardest team to beat and why? Lakeland, just because they were the biggest school we played and they had a lot of players who really knew what they were doing. What was the highlight of your season? Definitely the Pinkney tournament because we came in first place and it was really hot and we were glad to win everything. Overall, it was a great season for the tennis team this year. Let's hope for an even better season next year. We also caught up with the hockey team on their upcoming season and thoughts, so let's take a look at that. As the weather gets colder and snow starts to fall, it all reminds us of one thing. Hockey season is just around the corner, and our very own Southline Unified Varsity Hockey Team will begin their season on November 25th against Romero High School. In order to understand how the team is feeling, we interviewed Cold Americ to find out his thoughts on the upcoming season. All right, I'm with uh, Cold Americ. Uh, he is on the varsity hockey team this season. Uh, Cole, how are you feeling about the team this year? I'm um, feeling good. I'm feeling excited for the, the season, first year on varsity. So, All right, that's awesome. Uh, what are you most excited about for the season? Definitely the student section at home games. Excited to see how many people turn out. Since it's your first year on varsity, who do you, who do you think is going to be your favorite player to see perform out there? Favorite player? Uh, I'm not sure. I know Chase Temple's going to do pretty well. Big starter. Good looking hair, too. Oh, yeah. Um, and then what's something you're nervous about for the season? Uh, Big six, seven freight trains on their team trying to take off my head, but that's never fun. But yeah, all right, should be a good year. All right, thank you, Cole. Appreciate it. Make sure to show out and get excited for the upcoming season, and most importantly, be East. There's a lot going on this Friday, including Blue Out for Diabetes Awareness, so make sure to participate. From November 15th to from November 19th, the Student Council will be selling caramel apple suckers at the school store after school. All profits go to the sophomore class. Now let's take it to Courtney to talk about weather. Heading into the rest of the week, it is supposed to get warmer with some rainfall, although the temperatures will drop down and we are supposed to expect snow on Sunday. That's all for your news today, and we'll see you next time.